What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Sports here. I'm back with another video, back with a different location. Again, I'm still working on the stuff downstairs to make sure my videos are good. I've got some lighting being set up and everything like that. So, as you guys can see, it's a wrestling video again. I think I'm going to have a couple videos posted in this location. So if it looks like I'm recording on the same day, it's probably because I am. There's a couple of topics that I want to touch on. But I promise soon there's going to be a schedule too on this channel. Um, it won't just be random videos uploaded. Sometimes it will be, depending on breaking news, but there will be a schedule on certain based videos like a wrestling video, a hockey video, a Leafs video, maybe even Jays and Raptors. So you guys will see a lot more of that stuff. So yeah, um, if you see me looking down, it's because I've got my phone here because I took notes on WrestleMania. So I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the show. Overall, I thought it was awesome. I really liked it. Um, I've watched wrestling my whole life, but... The past two or three years, I've tried to stay away from, like, dirt sheets and, like, stuff like that. So I've just watched it as a fan and, you know, love it like I did when I was really young. So, yeah. Let's just start off right at the top here. The WrestleMania pre-show. So, Neville versus Austin... Ne ugh, Jesus. Neville versus Austin Aries. Uh, Neville won. Um, and he retained his uh, Cruiserweight Championship. I actually liked the match. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to touch too much on these matches. I just thought the crowd wasn't as alive as it should have been. Um, hopefully, um, you know, the cruiser rates will get more attention because, like, Neville and Austin Aries are just incredible, and I hope that, that um, this becomes more of a series of matches. Could you imagine, like, a best of seven between those two? It'd be pretty cool. Um, so... The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal happens, and I thought for sure Braun Strowman had this in the bag. Um, about halfway through, I was watching it, and like then Braun got eliminated, and I was so confused. And I'm like, you know what? When I seen that video of him and Gronk like slapping the hell out of each other, I think it was last week or the week before. I was like, I was like, Mojo is gonna win this, and then he did, and Gronk interfered, which I mean, it was cool. Come on. Give me a break, guys. Gronk is hilarious. I didn't want it to happen like that because I wanted Braun to win, but Mojo won. Can't hate him. Um, okay, so then we had the Intercontinental title match. Now, this could be a whole other video, but I just want to say real quick, if you want the Intercontinental title to have some prestige, um, like prestigiousness, I don't know if that's how you say the word, if you want it to actually have some value in wrestling, why is it on the pre-show? Okay, so Ambrose beat uh, Baron Corbin, which I was really surprised. I thought Corbin was going to have a WrestleMania moment here, even though he's won the Andre the uh, Giant Battle Memorial Battle Royal last year. Um, I mean, you know, good for him uh, for even getting there to that match, the pre-show, whatever. He's going to be so good. They need to keep pushing him because I think he's going to win this title, maybe even as soon as Tuesday. So now we get on to the main card. And the opening match, which I was really confused about at first, was AJ versus Shane. And then when the, the match went on, I was like, damn, like, this is, you know, this is the reason why they wanted this match to go first. They're actually, you know, hyping up the crowd, getting some pops. And I was like, okay, okay, I, I like this. And there was some crazy stuff throughout the match, you know, the flying elbow missed, a shooting star press. They were hitting the crap out of each other. They were beating each other. It was a fun match to watch, and you know what? It got the crowd into it, and I think a lot of people underestimated Shane in this one, and he did pretty good for himself. So next was one of my personal favorite matches of the night, even though the crowd was not very alive again during this, was my personal favorite wrestler currently, Kevin Owens, versus Chris Jericho for the United States Championship. And, and just like everybody thought, Kevin Owens won the United States Championship. This was a great technical wrestling match. Um, there was a lot of holds. A lot of just um, clean moves. It wasn't a typical WrestleMania match that everybody wants to see, but I think that it was good for what it was. Like this feud, the build of it was crazy. Everybody knew it was going to happen eventually. I just wish that this was like a title versus title match. I still think that Kevin Owens should have held on to the belt, but for what they needed to do later on, I understand. Um, you know, being in them being in that situation. I'm almost positive uh, Jericho's been on the other end of that situation before when uh, he actually um, won the belt from CM Punk, I believe it was, because he needed it uh, for his feud with uh, maybe even Shawn Michaels. I can't remember. But um, that was a long time ago. 
Next, we had the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match, Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax and versus Charlotte. So this match disappointed me a little bit because a lot of people probably don't realize that um, Sh Sasha, Bailey, and um, Charlotte have had way better matches than this in NXT. And I mean, of course, they've had a couple good ones in WWE. But I'm actually a huge fan of Nia Jax, and I think that they didn't build her properly. Um, for me personally, what I would have done, and again, this is going to be another video that I can make. I think Nia Jax should have won literally every single match that she had so far in the WWE, won the title, and then carried it into Mania, Mania only for her to be knocked off by Sasha or Bailey or hell, even Charlotte. You never know what you want to do there, but regardless, this match was a little disappointing for me because I love all of them. I mean, I'm, I dislike Charlotte for certain reasons, but when it comes down to wrestling, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that, and she's not too bad on the mic, but... I just hate how much Charlotte wins some of these times. I mean, they built her the way they wanted to. So, Nia got eliminated first, which again, really, I was like, what? Like, how are you letting her get eliminated first when she could probably take half the guys on the roster? That's how she should have been built. Um, Sasha was then eliminated, which again, surprised me. I thought they were going Bailey sasha to close it. And then Bailey beat Charlotte, which... Like, she beat her with, like, a flying elbow, like a Macho Man elbow, which was, like, more of a tribute, but whatever. Um, again, a little disappointed. Then the Hall of Fame inductees came out. Um, I believe the guy's name, and I can't believe I don't remember how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm pretty sure his name was Eric Legrand. Um, hats off to you, sir. Um, just incredible. What have I done? I'm, I've messed up my hair. No, I'm just kidding. Um incredible incredible story if you haven't heard of him go look him up and of course everybody was waiting for Kurt Angle to come out um, just just great the chance that you suck chance that Eddie Guerrero started I believe um, of course my favorite wrestler ever uh, wrestler ever Eddie Guerrero rest in peace one of the greats um, that that was just a great moment for Kurt Angle as well so that was cool then my favorite moment of the night the part that I've watched about 50 million times already the triple threat ladder match, Enzo and Cass versus Sheamus and Cesaro versus the champions Anderson and Gallows. So it's about to start, New Day comes out, and immediately I just, my heart starts going, and I'm like, this is it. I'm like, he's, the Hardys are coming back, and then they come out and say, who's gonna, who's gonna come out? And I, you know, I praise WWE for making them come out in their gear, like the New Day, because then I was like, oh man, is the New Day gonna come in? I'm like, no, nah, they can't do that. And then when that music hit, and I seen the Hardys come out, I was just holding on to the chairs, and I was like, this is really happening. Like, the Hardys are back, and broken gimmick or not, they're back. I could care less. Um, and the Hardys won. This, this was a pretty good match. The Hardys actually didn't have a ton of um, moves in this match, but like, I mean, come on. They had the biggest moment of the night. Uh, just absolutely crazy match. And I give them props. Uh, it, was a, it was a great match, like I said. Just so much fun to watch. Um, next, we had Miz and Maurice versus John Cena and Nikki Bella. And before this match, I was like, I was like, John's proposing. They're going to win, and John's proposing. Even though I'm a huge fan of John Cena, the Miz and Maurice had to win this one, and they didn't. The Miz is one of the hottest things in wrestling right now. And I've been a Miz fan for the longest time. Like, honestly, i seen this guy being a top uh, guy in the company just because of his mic skills and how good he is as a heel. Um, just, I would have, like, knowing now, obviously, what happened at the end, yeah, you kind of have to give him that moment. But you have to wonder if that could have been at another time. It is WrestleMania, obviously, but I really wanted The Miz to win that one. Hey, you know what? Congrats to John and Nikki, though. Come on. That was, a, that was an amazing moment. So next up, we had the unsanctioned match, uh, Triple H versus Seth Rollins. Awesome finish. I thought the finish was great with Rollins winning, but um, the match was a little boring. Uh, let's just put it that way. For me personally, though, as a fan of actual like technical wrestling and whatnot, I actually was I was actually really intrigued in this match. I would have liked more weapons and you know them beating the hell out of each other. But Rollins is coming off of an injury, so you can't really hate them for that. Um, Whatever. It, it is what it is. I liked the match. Um, hopefully we'll see more from that. Then we got an awful performance from Pitbull, Flo Rider, and I believe uh, Lunch Money Lewis. 
Kids, that is what you call awful music. So we're not going to talk about that anymore. It's not worth my time. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton for the uh, WWE Championship. Man, I did like the stuff in the ring where like there was like the videos on the ring, like they they shot it down to the ring. But I was disappointed because I'm a fan of huge fan of Bray Wyatt. Everybody knows. Um, Randy Orton, I've been a fan of forever. I mean, he's part of my childhood. And I was so disappointed because I thought they were going to put on a better match. It almost seemed like they knew they were rushed because this was already, like, closing in on, like, 11 o'clock. Um, you know what? Uh, Rome, or, um, Randy Orton won. And I'm not too happy about it because I like Bray Wyatt as champ. But I'm, I'm, will, I'm willing to see what they're going to do here. Like, could Nakamura, come on. That'd be nice. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to speed up. I'm at 11 minutes already. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship. Brock won, thank God, and they actually beat the hell out of each other. I did not expect this much from this match, even though it wasn't too much technical wrestling-wise, wrestling-wise, whatever. Um, you know what? They they beat the hell out of each other, and it was, it was good, I guess. Um, Brock winning was what I wanted to happen. So, hopefully that feud is over and, you know, we'll see who Brock is going to get next. Will it be Finn Balor? Could it be Nakamura? Who knows? I mean, I wish it was Kevin Owens. I mean, personally, I think that that would be a, a weird thing um, to do. But I think it would be fun to watch. Um, next, we had the Women's Six-Pack Challenge, which was also a bit of a disappointment. Um, there was rumors of having some returns. I thought it would have been cool to have, like, an elimination over the top for the title. And then have like Kelly Kelly and like Eve, um, what was her name again? Eve Torres come out. That, that would have been cool. But Naomi winning was dope. She got the pop that she deserved. Naomi has got to keep this championship. Please SmackDown. Please WWE. Let Naomi carry this title. Her entrance is dope. She's a great wrestler. Big fan. Um, glad she won in her hometown. Then we had the match that was a little bit disappointing. Um because of a couple botches, but it was Undertaker versus Roman. Um, JR returned for commentary, which was cool. Roman wins the match, and that's not what I'm going to spend my time on, because it was a good match for what it was. I would just like to end this video by saying thank you, Undertaker. The moment at the end when he lost after taking an absolute, just an ass-kicking from Roman Reigns, he lost, and he... To put his gear back on, and right when he did that, I'm like, oh no. So he put his gear back on, came back to the middle of the ring, took his gloves off, took off the jacket, and put down the hat. And I was like, damn, this is the end of The Undertaker. Forget the streak, forget the match, let's just pay tribute to the greatest wrestler of all time, the greatest character, The Undertaker. Absolutely incredible career. You can't ask much more from a guy like that. I believe, what is he, like 52 years old, putting on incredible matches. Thank you, Undertaker. And, you know, I'll never forget the memories that you've given me over my childhood and um, obviously now. Uh, just an absolute incredible talent, incredible character, incredible guy. Just a guy I look forward to watching every week on SmackDown. Thank you, Undertaker. So that'll do it guys, thanks for watching my Wrestlemania review, there'll be more wrestling videos on the way, there'll be more videos on the way in general, it's, you know, school's getting down to the nitty gritty here, I've only got a couple weeks left, so I really have to focus on school, that's why the uploads have been scattered. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, which probably will be very soon. Peace.